In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a WordPress website on your own server. Now, this is super powerful because you can go in and customize how much power you want on your servers. Now, I'm not only going to show you how to do it on one service like DigitalOcean, but I'm also going to show you how to do this on Volta and also on Amazon AWS. Let's dive in and let me show you how. So over here, I've already got my account with FlyWP. Now, this is very important because this service here is the company that gives us the interface, which is very, very easy to use, very easy to follow, that allows us to connect to all these servers. Okay, so you need to first register with this. I'll leave that in the video description below. So right now, I'm in my Fly WP admin dashboard. So as you can see, it's very, very easy for me to add my provider. So if I click here, I can now connect with DigitalOcean, Volta, AWS, and Akamai. So now we are going to do the DigitalOcean. So I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to call this MacDO for DigitalOcean, but you can name this whatever you want. Now we're going to need the API token. So what you need for this to work is to register with these services, Volta, AWS, DigitalOcean, and so on. So I've already gone ahead and done that, so I'm going to come over here. So what we need here is to go all the way down here to API. We are going to generate a new token. So I'm just going to call this uh, Mac. I'm going to leave that as it is. And then generate token. Next, I'm going to copy token, come back over here to my dashboard, and then I'm going to paste it in here like that. Click on Add Credential. And just like that, I've connected FlyWP with my cloud hosting service. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with Amazon AWS. All right, so we're going to click on there. We're going to give this profile a name. I'm just going to call this Mac AWS. But of course, you can name this whatever you want. All right, so we are going to need now an access ID and a secret access key. Now, here's the thing. If you were trying to host your website on Amazon AWS, it's super complicated. In fact, the interface is so crazy that it will take you ages to try and work out how this works. All right, so right now I'm logged into my Amazon AWS account. So what you need to do right away is to come all the way here to the top, click on this drop down, and you want to go to security credentials, okay? Click on that. Next, you want to scroll down here because what we need are access keys. So you click here on create access key, and then you can say I understand, and then create access key. So now you see we have access key and secret key. These are the informations that we're going to need in our control panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this one here. I'm going to click here to copy the access key. I'm going to paste it in here. Now we need the secret key. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in here and then add credential. So as you see here, we are now connected to Amazon AWS. So pretty much it's very, very straightforward. Now let's move on to the next one. We're going to click here on add provider. So this time we are going to go with Valter. Okay. Again, we're going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this Mac V for Valter. Now we need this API token. All right, so I also have a Volter account. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click here on account settings. But you know what? To make things easier for me, I'm going to open this in a new tab. So here we are. Now, the longer way is to log in. You go to your account and then you want to scroll all the way down here to your API. So here it is. I'm going to click here to copy to clipboard. So for this one here, all we need is the API. So I'm going to click that, come back over here, and then you're going to paste it, add credential. And just like that, I'm now connected to Volta. All right, so if we come over here to our servers, you notice that what we've just done here is to add server providers. So you can also go in and configure your Cloudflare and also add SSH keys. So now our next step here is to create your first server. I'm going to click on here. So let's say I want to use DigitalOcean. I can come over here, select that, and then I can go to my credentials here. Now remember, I uh, created Mac DO for Digital Ocean. I'm going to select that. Now the server name, I can leave it as it is, but I can always go in and change the name. The region, I'm going to leave that as New York, but if you want to be very specific, you can come over here and choose a server that's close to you. Like in my case, I'm in England, so I would choose perhaps Amsterdam. All right. So this is where now you want to choose your server size. And this is what I like about this, because when you create a WordPress website, sometimes you're just creating a basic website. But 
let's say you're creating a website which has a lot of e-commerce going on you're going to need more processing power so this is where you can come over here and really choose what you want to go with i mean look at that this is crazy so you can actually customize this to your liking I mean, we can also go here with uh, Amazon AWS if you wanted to. If you click on the drop down, we can see our credentials here. Um, we can choose our region. As I mentioned here, you can choose Europe. Now here, it's more specific. I have Europe, London, and then I also have my disk size here and server size. So let's say I want to go with Amazon AWS. I can create my server here. So now that I've selected my server, it is now going to create everything that's needed for me to now create my website using those specific settings. Now that my server is ready, the next step now is to create my website. So I'm going to come over here now and click on create new site. And as you can see, this is very, very easy to follow. I have options to create an instant site. I can create a standard site, a multi-site and so on. So I'm going to go with uh, this basic one here. I'm going to click on next. Now this is going to be a normal site and for my name, I'm just going to call this Mac site and pretty much that's all I need. That's my admin password and my admin username. So now let's go ahead and click on next. Okay. So with this now, I have my own interface here for this actual website. I can visit the site here. I can go to my WP admin here to log straight into my website. Now notice that we also have all these other services. I have page caching, I have SSL here, where I can go in and enable, in fact, it's already enabled, which is fantastic. So if I wanted to create, say, um, WooCommerce websites, this SSL is already there for me. I also have access to my WP config. So I can go in here, enable debug mode. I mean, you can see there's a lot of uh, things here that I can play around with. We also have security here and we have this 7G uh, firewall. But the really cool thing about all this is the interface is very, very, very easy to use. I can uh, go into my emails here. I can go into my settings, my logs. So this is information for this individual website. So if I were to go back here, this is where all my sites will be listed and I have access to all my websites. All right, now let me show you something also really cool here. And what I like about uh, FlightWP is the actual interface. So you can see here that this is the one, this is the server that I connected to. So if I had, let's say, Amazon AWS, this would be right here. So this is where all my servers would be. And you can see here it says servers. Now, if I come over here to sites, this is where all my sites will show. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's a super clean interface. So the first thing we need to do is to sign up for FlightWP. Next, you need to uh, sign up for these cloud hosting services like DigitalOcean or Amazon AWS. Now, once you've done that, you come back to your FlightWP dashboard and then add all the API keys that connect these uh, services, FlightWP and all these hosting services. Once you've done that, you create your servers and then pretty much you are good to start creating all your websites. Now, this is fantastic and I'm pretty sure that um, if you want to be a freelance designer or you want to create your own websites, this is how you would control your website on your own by connecting to these cloud services. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, the information to FlightWP is in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.